Finally, Kevin, what three specific tips you can give to my audience in terms of sub seekers so that they can elevate their job search strategies? Hmm. Okay. Wow. I, and I've really thought about this. What would, what would be the top three tips? Um, so I do a lot of work around purpose. So, so number one, if you are a purpose powered individual, know, know what your purpose is or know what your values are. Know, know what you value in about yourself and about work and then find companies that align with your values and talk to them about how I am a fit for your culture or ask questions. What's it like to work here? What are the characteristics you value? So you're not just trying to sell yourself on a skill set. You know, you, you told me that you, you had my friend Claude Silver on and, and I, I don't know what Claude said when, in her tips, but I know one of the tips we've discussed is, is that most people are, are, some people are hiring for fit, but the real value is to hire for contribution, to mm -hmm. hire somebody that is, that shares our values, but adds a skill set or expands our dimensions of our employment. So tip number one is to spend some time learning about the company to know their purpose or their values mm -hmm. and set yourself apart as someone that meets that, 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 uh, that fits and, and aligns with them for what's important to them, not just skill set, but the type of person you are and who, who you are and how you show up on the job. Yes. Um, tip two, gosh, is make it relationship. Right, because so many, so many jobs, yes. they already know who they're going to hire, mm -hmm. right? Somebody had a leg up because somebody knew somebody mm -hmm. inside the company. So I would start, and I love it when people ask me, people that are our friends genuinely ask, hey, you know, I'm thinking about a job search. Do you know any company? that would be a good fit for me. So I would sit there and I would look through your LinkedIn community, your network, um, and, and identify seven to 10 people that you know, mm -hmm. that you respect and you trust, mm -hmm. and let them, just let them know you're in a search and ask them, do you know some organization that you would recommend me to? Because Maher, a lot of jobs, uh, a lot of jobs, the, the hiring, is, I don't want to say it's decided, but they've already got candidates before they officially post. They do referrals. They ask their friends. That's right. So why don't you put that to work for you and get at the front of the, the line rather than trying to stand in the line saying, hey, like me, like me, pick me. Find somebody that you know and, and ask them to make an introduction to somebody they know that they believe you'd be a fit for. So that whole idea of win, 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 uh, that this, this, you hiring me will be a win for you. It'll be a win for your company, the clients you serve, and it'll be a win for me. Make it that, that win, win, win. And then the third one is be authentic in the conversation. You know, it, it, we, we talked about in another um, one of these videos, don't, don't compare, don't compete with others. I know there's competition for jobs, but just be so authentically you, so uniquely different in a good way that they go, wow, we've got to have this person, right? Mm -hmm. And you're not trying to compete with others in that way. You're just showing them, hey, I am the best person for the job. I remember a time when I was being interviewed for an internal promotion in the company and, and the hiring manager said, Kevin, can we talk about compensation? I'm like, well, Tony, we really could. But you know what I think? I think you ought to be asking, the question you're not, that you should be asking is, is Kevin the best candidate for the job? And if I'm the best candidate for the job, we'll figure out the compensation. Yeah. But don't be sitting there saying, well, gosh, can we afford to hire Kevin and can we make this work? Am I the best person for the job? Maher, I was the best person for the job and I got hired and we figured out the compensation. So, you know, be authentic, be confident mm -hmm. and be bold. Wow. Those are great tips, Kevin. And with that, my interview video comes to an end. Again, thank you for taking the time to answer my questions.
And I'm sure that my audience will appreciate and take some of the tips that you've done and put it in action. And again, for the audience watching and listening, if you have any other tips in terms of job seekers, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and tune in next time for another great guest that I'm preparing for you. So everyone, bye. Bye. Thanks, Maher.